Okay. Hi, Greg here with Party Foul. I got Scott behind the camera. We're going to talk about something that's near and dear to my heart. It's nerd rage. So we all get angry. This is my fury because I'm Arr, angry. Uh, we all get angry. Anger and frustration are normal. And it's okay. It's okay to feel angry. It's what you do with that anger that can be a problem, and how we deal with it needs to be looked at. So, how do you know that you have nerd rage? I'm going to move my notes over here so I have to look. I can look at you guys more often. Uh, you think about quitting the hobby while you're playing the game. This does happen to me sometimes. It's not like an overt expression of nerd rage, but it's something that helps b build the nerd rage. Uh, secondly, you have no problem with winning. You're happy. You're happy when you're winning, but you have problems when you're losing. At least you can notice a trend with that. You get grumpy and frustrated and complain about your dice and stuff like that. And third, you constantly complain about your opponent's dice and about your dice. Um, I did another video about dice. Take a look at it. Dice are never the problem. You are the problem. You need to try to deal with it. Fourth, you complain about officiating or tournament-specific items like timers, terrain, the choice of mission, that type of thing. Um, those are always going to be there. You need to try to deal with it. But once again, the problem are not those things. The problem is you. You need to try to look inside. How can we solve this problem? Fifth, you swear frequently during gameplay. It happens sometimes. You, you, you might say an F word or something like that if you make a really bad clutch roll or something like that. But if you're constantly swearing, constantly grumbling, cussing and stuff like that, then that's probably a good sign that you've got nerd rage issues. Six, you quit halfway through the game. That's you have nerd rage. If you quit a game, you have nerd rage. That's not exactly the same as conceding. If you look at the table and your opponent agrees that you don't have any possible possible win scenario and it's just a waste of time and you want to go have some rest before your next game, that's okay. But if you quit, you're angry and frustrated and you quit and the game is not resolved, you have nerd rage and you need to deal with it. Seven. You complain about the matchup and how it favors your opponent. That can happen frequently as well. And uh, some people sit down at the table and they immediately start complaining about, oh, it's E. Haley and this is going to be a bad game for me and blah, 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 blah. That's a good sign you have nerd rage, is rage issues and that it's going to come up during that game. So, pre-rage. You haven't raged yet, but you can feel the steam building. What can be done? One, have a mantra. Have a mantra something like, this has no bearing on my value as a human being. I am a good person. I have value. Something, some positive reinforcement sort of thing. Something that can help displace you out of the game for a minute and be like, I'm okay. I'm a good person. Two, tell yourself that you wouldn't want somebody to ruin a game for you by throwing dice and having a fit and stuff like that. Strive for sportsmanship and your opponent's respect uh, for you as a fair and polite player. Make that your highest goal. Don't aim to go three and one. Aim to go complaint free for the day. Three. These are, I'm going to list a bunch of number of sort of like uh, regular stress relieving sort of things that people uh, recommend, and you guys can probably find more if you look on the internet. But there's thumb squeezes, and that you can just make your thumb go like that and start squeezing your thumb, and that can have a, like a nice psychologically relaxed. It seems weird, but you can do it below the table as well. Your pony wouldn't even know you're doing it. You might look a little weird to the guy next to you, but it's okay. Um, a pressure ball, that's another squeezing thing. You know, if you feel you need that to help control your rage issues, have it, have it on hand. Have it there. Uh, another thing that I see people do, not necessarily that they might have rage issues, but they might have anxiety issues, I see them fondle their dice. They just have the, you know, the big casino dice and they roll them around in their hand. And that can be a way to help deal with your uh, anxiety. Uh, most importantly, be able to identify the growing feelings of frustration and anger in you. Know that it's happening to you and try to divorce your logical mind from your emotional mind. Tell yourself, I'm feeling angry or frustrated, but I don't have to be angry or frustrated. Don't bobble it up, identify it, and put it aside. Say, it's okay to feel angry, it's not okay to show anger to my opponent. Number seven, take a drink of cold water. It's actually like your physiognomy changes as you drink cold water. It'll help you cool down. It'll help you relax. It's scientific. Science says do it, so do it. Uh, number eight, close your eyes and imagine yourself in bed with an overhead fan or lapping waves or something, wherever your relaxing place is. I know that sounds really silly. Scott's laughing behind the camera there. But if you're getting really angry about the game, you need to take that minute to realize that you're just playing a game. Your life is not on the line here or something. Get back to your calm spot. Number nine, tell yourself that your feelings are irrational. It's important to recognize that. Feelings are important. They, 
They can alert you to situations that need your attention, but they're at their core, they're irrational. Look at the situation and ask yourself, am I really going to let this game make me look like a fool? Because that's what's going to happen if you have a nerd rage incident. Everybody at that tournament's going to know that, that Greg had a rage fit and quit uh, mid-game. Okay, so rage on! You're raging, what can be done? Take a break before it's too late. If it's your opponent's turn, ask them politely to flop the clock to you and just stop. Leave the table if you need to, go to the bathroom, turn around and face away from the table for a minute, anything you can to sort of try to get to grips with yourself. You don't want to blow up, you don't want to make a fool of yourself, and if it costs you a minute of your clock to do that, that's worth it. Two, take a break. I've seen people play games and they just keep getting angrier and angrier and your opponent not really enjoying the game, you're not totally not enjoying the game. Take a break. If you're raging, then you need to stop and continue the, continue the game won't help. Playing the game is not going to help you calm down. You will play better and you'll be more respected if you keep control of yourself. So take that break. Three, once you've taken a break, do all the stuff you do when you're feeling the rage build. Do your thumb squeezes or your pressure ball or whatever it takes to get you calm again. Once you feel in control of yourself, return to the game and thank your opponent for letting you take that break. Post-rage. Okay, you've had a rage fit. Maybe you've quit a game or something like that. What can be done? First off, apologize. I know it's hard, but you're, you'll feel better and your opponent will feel better. Acknowledge that you have rage issue, that a ra and you have a rage issue, and that you're working on it. That can go a long way to, uh, to help heal that damage that's been done because ultimately that's what happens damage has been done and people will in a uh, friendly setting will try to avoid playing you if they know you have rage issues or in a tournament setting they will <coughs> dread playing against you two don't hang on to it what's done is done and as long as you recognize your feelings you can grow as a player and a person don't let it get you down a lot of people have problems with rage issues it takes practice and time to deal with that emotion Finally, long-term nerd rage therapy. First off, get over yourself. Seriously, you're not going to be the world war machine god. Your goal should be to play well, politely, to have fun, and accept the challenges your opponent presents you with. You should be excited about those opportunities to, to learn and to grow as a player. You can be a respectable player and not win tournaments. Two, look into why you get angry and ask yourself, if you get do I get angry over other facets of life when other challenges are presented. Can you identify what it is that makes it so important to you that you do well in this game? Uh, and once you've found that, maybe you, you want to like see a psychologist or something, if that's relevant, <laughs> if you can't deal with it by yourself and you need help. And thirdly, talk about it with your friends. Your friends are there to help. They will understand. And if they know that you can recognize that you have an issue with this game rage thing, then, then they'll help. They will help you identify when it's happening and maybe offer some uh, advice. Uh, to when they'll have to when what you can do about it. So if they're good friends, they will help you with it. So do what you can, play the game, enjoy yourself, and don't rage.